Hello, my name is Karen Phillip and I'd just like to speak to you very briefly on a recent article in the uh, Sydney Telegraph in regards to children should be taught consumer and financial literacy from kindergarten. Now I recently did a segment of this on the Today Show and basically what it was that the schools, the education department, the government has decided that it may actually introduce formal economics and business curriculum into our infant and primary school education. Now obviously this is rather insanity. If any of them can prove to us the reasoning behind it, great. But unfortunately, as much as I have tried and tried, I can't find any benefit to our six-year-olds, seven-year-olds, nine-year-olds of business and economic curriculum into their school year. Look, a colleague from the Today Show recently said that his child, I think is six, values 20 cent pieces and 10 cent pieces more than a $2 coin because one, they're bigger, and two, they can usually have a few more of them. Children at the age of five, six, seven, eight, they don't understand the value of money. They, they can count, they know numbers, but they really don't have the capacity at their age to understand the value of money. So I really urge your parents, if your school at any time tries to introduce this into your child's education curriculum, please vigilantly argue against it. Ask them to prove to you the reasoning behind it. The last thing we want to do is burden our babies, our children, with financial and economic woes. That is not the place of a school, and it's certainly not the place for a child as young as that. When they get to high school, of course, it's important that children learn the value of money. But that normally comes from home and from parents. Parents just, as a matter of course, tell the children what they can and can't afford, how much money they earn, how much they need to pay in mortgage or rent, what food costs, how much the car costs and various items. So children do learn as they grow and develop that there is actual value placed on money and then they start to develop the capacity to understand that. But that doesn't happen at the age of five, six, eight, nine years old. Not until they're probably around about at least 12 or 13 upwards. So certainly if the school wishes to, introduce a curriculum in regards to economics then but not in primary school. So please, parents, argue against that if any of your school principals wish to add that into the infants or primary school curriculum. Thank you.